Hey everybody, welcome back to more Lemmings World Tour. We're continuing with the Rockstar rank today. We've been plowing through them pretty well. We've gotten through three to five levels per video, which, you know what, for one of the last ranks in terms of difficulty, I'd consider that pretty good. I like making good progress. Whenever I, get, whenever I come across a Lemmings level that takes me an entire video to beat, it always kind of sours my mood a little bit, just because... I get that, like, lemmings, you're supposed to, like, be slow and methodical and think it through, and thus, like, the longer it takes, the better the puzzle it is, generally speaking. But when it comes to, like, let's playing them, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to my viewers if I can only get through one level in a video. Anyhow, we're on level 17. It's the final countdown by Europe. Alright, Ferdy Lemmings gotta save all of them. This is a nice-looking space level. I find the space tile set to be ridiculously hard to work with. Actually, I find most of the Lemmings 2 tile sets ridiculously hard to work with. At least com in comparison to the Lemmings 1 and Ono tile sets. Alright. Let's see what we're on about today. Oh man, that is really loud. <laughs> Alright. See, like, that piece is steel, but the actually, yeah, there are the bolts there. That's fair. Okay, well... Hmm. They're all hemmed in for us. Nice, so let's just send a climber. This is all solid. Okay, that's good. Well, you know me. Let's try stuff. Okay. Then all we would have to do is build them. Oh! Pfft. Am I missing something? Probably. Am I just missing something, or is this level actually this easy? Oh, I didn't even notice the time limit of free limit minutes. That's that's the key. Okay. In that case... Alright, I see. I see now why this level's a little on the tricky side. Also, better idea, we can use the digger here. Alright, yeah, that it's the time limit that's going to be the tricky part. Darn it, that was the last builder. There we go. So that'll turn them all around. Nah, that's still gonna take too much time. We gotta cut this out a little bit. Well, here's a question. Can we just build? I mean, the release rate is pretty intense, but still. 
Oh, whoops. Oh, maybe I just overcomplicated the level a little bit. Oh, I see. Sneaky, sneaky. That's all solid terrain, huh? Okay. Well, you know what? I can still work with this. Boom. Haha. <laughs> I can't tell if that's the backward of the century or if that's actually intended, because I used every skill. I just ignored half the level. <laughs> You know what? That's what I get for trying to solve the level the intended way. <laughs> if you try to solve the level in the way you think is intended, it'll often take you a long time. Whereas if you try to find a hackish solution, it also might take you a long time, but it'll be more fun. <laughs> choo choo. All right, on to level 18, In the Shadows by the Rasmus, or I don't know how to pronounce that. Ooh, it's a shadow level. I like the shadow tiles that, honestly. It's one of the easier of I my means two tile sets to work with, and it's got the weird creepy moon face, which for some reason I really like. We've got 40 lemmings. We can afford to kill up to eight of them. Cool. Let's go. Oh, wow, that's a packed skill set. Huh, not a whole lot of constructive skills. I'm clearly going to need one, a platform to get across this gap, and then two builders to get across that one. That seems like it's a little too easy, but I'll I'll take it. Oh. Hang on a second. Oh wait, there are traps there. Oh man. That's okay. We can just climb up this way. Kablam! Now we should swim under here. No, we climb up. Clever. So my, I think we can use two builders here. Bash. Oh, hang on. Getting them out of here might be a little bit of a pickle. Hmm. Okay. New plan! We're gonna keep the lemmings trapped up here. That way, when we bomb, we can bomb up here, and then they'll fall down there. Big brain time. If we could find a way... I'm not sure how efficient these traps are. But if we let free lemmings go... All right, so if I make a bomb, like another stoner up here, how many lemmings go by? Just one. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna max out the release rate. We're gonna let three lemmings go by. We make them all swimmers. 
We'll do a compression method style thing. They'll swim under there, and then they'll be able to backtrack over here, hopefully. Once free are out, we're going to lower the release rate again. And then before this guy falls, all right, here, this is what we're going to do. Only one Lemmy will go by. We make them all swimmers. We're going to have him platform as soon as he can so he does not turn around. Make him an athlete. Okay, so that's a problem. He's He goes a little too fast. Interesting. What if we had just the swimmers go and climb up here? have him swim under there. Now we'll make him a climber. He'll climb up over all of this. Oh, that's a spl that's Oh, that's dumb. I hate it when something is just splat height. It's very irritating. Okay, so we can't send a lemming that way. We'll let the first lemon go ahead, and he's gonna seal the hole here. Hmm. That's still too slow. Oh, not to mention the fencer won't even let the... Oh. Okay. We're in a little bit of a pickle, then. Hmm. Alright. This one's tricky. We have a ton of stoners that we're not using properly at the moment. Oh, can we just stone in front of- here's a- okay, here's a question. Okay, so... Right before they die... How many- how many swimmers does it take to get past one of these traps? Alright, three stoners can get through each of these traps, so we could use six stoners, 
But at that point, we only have two swimmers left. This is actually kind of a tricky one. I feel like this is what we're kind of supposed to do. We only have a couple stoners left. Okay. One will still die, though. What if he builds at the very edge, though? Or platforms at the very edge? Aha! Now they survive if they do that. Okay. So this is an option. of you who are saying, Artie, you're wasting all the stoners. Well, guess what? <laughs> I'm just trying stuff. That's how this is gonna go. I don't even know... Come to think of it, though, I'm not even really sure why we need to send someone under, under here to begin with. Okay, hang on. We're gonna try this again, but with a, a twist. First two lemmings can go normal. The first lemming is not going to be the athlete, because he turns around. That causes too much of a gap. You're gonna platform at the very edge. Now the lemming here in the back is going to be the athlete. Bada beam, bada boom. That should save some time. Oh, and we're gonna reverse these as well. Or no, we can't reverse them. That guy has to climb up. Otherwise, he can't get over. Now, if only there was some way to get this guy up. Because that's still too narrow of a gap. I'm trying to think. We would need the two builders here, plus the basher. We still have the bomber left. 
What could... We are not using the bomber properly. Hmm. What... Where can we use the bomber? don't know. I don't know where we would use the bomber. We need to get a lemming to be able to turn around here somewhere. And if we bomb at the exit here... That won't work, because then they'll be stuck and they won't be able to get into the exit anymore. <sighs> oh, that's weird. Those aren't solid? That is one thing about the Shadow Tile set. There are some objects that look like they should be solid, but they're not. That seems like a lot of stoners just to get one lemming through. It really does. I can't figure out what the bomber is for. That is what is stumping me. I cannot figure out what the bomber is for. First off, is this even going to be... Is this even going to work? Can we use Builders plus a Basher? We can. Okay, so I have that right. But now, of course, they can't actually reach the exit. doing wrong. If only there was a way to delay them even more. Why is this level so difficult? Holy cow.
The climber can't survive, because if he fences up here, he's going to climb up out of here and then walk off. So perhaps we need to use the bomber on the climber at the top of the tunnel. Okay, guys, I may have a solution. Alright. I can't promise it'll work, but it might. Alright, so you platform at the very edge here. I want someone to be able to climb up here faster. But that seems like an impossible dream. I want to delay this faller or speed up the climber. We cannot speed up the climber. The climber literally can't go any faster. So we have to delay this guy somehow. But I don't really see how. I hate this fall. I hate this fall. It should not be exactly the number of pixels. Just splat. But that really, really irritates me when something is just barely high enough to make you splat. It should be very obvious if something's going to make you splat. The release rate's really high as well. Again, I don't like using all the stoners here, because I'm pretty sure we would need a stoner or two. Try, I'm gonna go kind of back to my original idea. I'm gonna hem the lemmings in up here.
Okay, we definitely have to do this. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. We need one, two, three four lemmings to go forward. Okay, so that means... One, two, three, four. No, I definitely lowered the release rate. Probably this amount of flow control is not needed, but that's okay. All right. We're going to make all of them floaters. We're going to make this guy the athlete. They're going to go down here. There is a reason I want them all clumped together in a 99 release rate chain up there. All right. So you're an athlete. Cool. Alright. I have an idea. It's a really cool idea. And I hope... It, I actually kind of hope it works. Alright, we're going to make him stone right there. The stoner will turn this guy around. He can turn around. He can build twice. Now this is the tricky part. We need to bomb in an extremely precise spot. We need to bomb in such a spot that exactly two lemmings are going to the left. Actually, wait a second. No, exactly three lemmings are going to the left. Okay. Beautiful. Just like that. Okay. So the climber is, is screwed, unfortunately. Actually, wait, we can't let the climber be screwed. Because we can't afford to lose him. Okay. Even more precise, we need to only have two lemmings facing to the left, and they need to merge with the basher. Which is almost certainly not what you need to do. That is too many. That's a lot of lemons. How many lemons is that? That's too many! And that's not enough. Actually, wait, that guy's gonna climb, so we actually need to let him get a little bit of a head start. Okay. 
Again, that's too many. We only want two. I don't know about that. That's... Yeah. Darn it. I'm not sure if we can get them closer than that, though. That's the issue. Well, that's one of the issues. Mm. And we can't use the stoner trap, because then we don't have enough stoners. And he, he can't even be used as the bomber to get them out, either. Oh, bother. That's way too many. If only there was a way we could save him. Because my intention is, they can't get over that stoner, but if we can send another lemming down here, they can stone down here. And bada-beam, bada-boom. Big brain time. Man, this level is difficult! Holy cow! No. Even if... The, I don't think that's intended. That's way too precise timing-wise. Although, using the stoner down here to give them a little lip so they can get over that stoner is really cool, and I really... I kind of want to try to make that work, even though I don't think it will. Here's something I gotta try. I don't think that's enough to get him across. No. Nope. I had to try. Now here's another idea. Okay. Well, that's... We can't get them across the second gap, though, so... Brr, blah, said Toad. Alright, we definitely need Platformer there, Builder's there. No question about that. So that's free of the skills done with. We definitely need the Fencer here. We definitely need the Basher. Alright, so this half of the skill set we figured out. It's, it's honestly the Bombers and the Stoners that are tripping me up. We need to find some way to get a lemming through the fencer tunnel, and the only way to do that is if they're either a climber or if we can find a way to... We need the climber, basically, or the bomber. But if we use the climber plus the bomber, we would need a way to delay the guy down here so that he only goes after... Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those six guys can make the path. But we're running out of stoners. Seems like a waste of stoners to just use them for this, because stoners are pretty powerful. Doggone it, that one guy always slips through. 
And we don't have any stoners to spare. Hmm. Okay, how many people can we... We can only afford to lose eight lemmings. We have seven stoners and one bomber. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Why does the release rate have to be so high? Everything in this level is just working against me. Make him a swimmer at the last possible second. Yeah, he's too dang fast. He he keeps he's going too fast. We need to delay him, but we can't. This is what's so annoying. It's the time. Everything is just positioned in such a way that makes it super annoying. I had an idea where, like, we could turn a lemming around at the start of the level. So that way he could swim under here later, but then we lose too many lemmings. We lose one too many lemmings because the stupid release rate is so high that one will always slip through. Here's a question. Here's here's a question I want an answer to. If we send eight swimmers that are in this, how many get through? How many get through? Only two. Wow. We can get two through with six swimmers, though, not eight. We can have three go through on the first one. So I'm trying to do some math. The climber, the athlete, will do this. He's gonna fence and then he will. I want if he fences and then bombs, the lemmy who goes down here can go up and walk down the tunnel and free them all, and everything's hunky dory. But there's no way to delay the swimmer down here long enough, and there's no way to speed up Mr. Stupid Pants here. Two, three. So that's four lemmings that are all in a row.
I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same story with this. Well, here's a question. Why do we even need to make them climb over the building? Couldn't we have two swimmers down here and they climb up? I'm not sure if I've ever actually tried that. Yeah, he's not going to beat him. It just ain't happening. I just want to see if this actually would work, though. That would! Okay. Did I just overcomplicate this level and maybe we can literally... We could potentially just... Five, six, seven, eight. Let's send all eight swimmers right now. Let's just do it. Keep them penned in. Was it literally as simple as just making all the swimmers go down here? I'm not sure who I would... Sending the climber first I don't think is going to be fast enough still. Oh my gosh, the... We literally just had to do that. Really? I thought I tried that already. But I guess not. I guess I'm just dumb. Wow. Okay. I just massively overcomplicated that level then. I still like the idea of using the stoners as a staircase. Well, I feel like a goon. And that guy's not a climber, so everyone will go in. Alright. So never mind, that level wasn't stupidly difficult. I was just overcomplicating it. Well, I'm a sucker. I thought for sure you would have to use the stoner, because I felt like the architecture of the level, the scenery was just in such a way that that double stoner trick would work. And again, I swear I tried that. I swear I tried the winning solution earlier, and that there was two... There wasn't a big enough gap between them, but apparently not. Well, that is definitely all the time we have for this video. Holy cow, that took probably three times longer than it should have, but we are still making headway for the Rockstar rank, so that's good. Hopefully we can get more than two levels done in the next video. So, hope you tune in for that next time. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.